Here, Kendall. Oh, oh, that's not nice. Well, cats will be cats, and by the looks of it, these cats are normal, with one small exception. Typically, we have a population of between, say, 15 and 20 leukemia and deaf IV cats at any point in time. All of these cats test positive for feline immunodeficiency, but it's not a death sentence by any means. We've had FIV cats live to be 19 and 20 years old. These cats can live in a home with other kitties without the virus because it's only transferable through deep bite wounds. We know these cats and their personalities and what they're like and they're wonderful. The animal sanctuary caring for creatures also houses cats with feline leukemia. That virus is more invasive and easier to pass along. If you're going to get a leukemia cat, you just have to stick with leukemia cats for a while. Despite their conditions, caring for them is pretty straightforward. I would say, for the most part, what both of these classes of cats need are a healthy diet. They need a low-stress living environment. Um, and regular checkups. The sanctuary is trying to get these cats adopted to make room for others in need. Don't shortcome them that they are still great animals and that they still deserve a chance. A chance to, well, be a cat. In Palmyra, Carly Kempler, NBC 29 News.